Hey guys, what's up? Make Buck Sauce here, back with another survival video. It has been <laughs> it's been quite some time since my last video, and I hardly kind of remember what I was doing. All I know is I was working on a villager kind of trading hall. No, oh, seems like I saw my foxes here. So this is pretty much the first time I'm back in this world. Uh, just had no time at all as far as my job and trying to get time into this into this world so we're back hopefully hopefully to stay for a while so let's see all i know is i was working on the villager breeding hall chamber and i know i had villagers somewhere i was working on yeah okay so they're down here i should probably block this off let's grab some dirt um, and I have been playing on the PC, mostly with mods. Uh, I'm just not recording that. Um, but we're back here. Kind of remember. <laughs> I remember a lot of it, but I forgot a lot too. Um, but hopefully, hopefully we'll manage and kind of continue off on our survival adventure. Um, I'm also kind of looking at this pathway. I don't know if I'm actually going to continue it. Just kind of... It doesn't, it just doesn't look good. <laughs> I don't really like the stairs, kind of how they are cut in so deep. But still have some mobs around. Still have to light some areas up and just a lot more ideas and things that I would like to do. And we do have our missing librarian, but we do have cats here. So we can add those into the uh, creeper farm. But we're going to go back head down to the mines and continue work and seeing maybe if I'm gonna kinda change up that that breeding chamber that I have set up before with the farmer villager and hopefully soon also get our hands on some netherite ingots so that we can upgrade ourselves even more so we're gonna hop down with a minecart and we're back off down into the mines I think that's a view bobbing effect right there. I don't know. I'm kind of, I have view bobbing on and it is kind of, it's different. I think it's kind of a lot more noticeable. All right, so this is what I have here right now. What do I want to do here? <clears throat> so this setup won't actually work. I mean, I've look, kind of looked around YouTube as well as another, uh, Minecrafters and seeing how they set up their village village breeders. So I'm gonna probably edit this setup a little bit and okay, that guy's down there. Alright, this is getting in the way though. This shield. So I'm gonna keep the shield here. So whenever we need it we can equip it, but for now it'll be like that. Can I just auto equip it? Nope. Now do torches work though? Torches still don't work in my left hand either even though they do work on the PC. So hopefully that'll be added soon enough. Let me eat some berries. There's a little bat over there on the ceiling. And <laughs> I need to work on my um, my main food source because berries are not going to cut it. They just take forever to eat. All right, so. What I could do here is probably square this up because I'm gonna actually have two villages in here rather than one because I've kind of noticed like the village having villages there I think the two villages there with the beds and then having the farmer kind of collect the crops he doesn't really throw seem to want to throw them at the villagers itself um, but I don't really know uh, so I think I'm gonna square this up probably should have increase the height anyways I mean I'm gonna increase the height for this place as a whole and I'm actually not seeing any slimes so I kind of wonder if kind of the slime chunks were fixed uh, it's been a while since I've been in this world so who knows what's been changed and everything like that I need to get back up 
Just trying to remember what my plan was over here. Um, first off, though, let's just get rid of these beds. Kind of restart a little bit. Kind of backtrack. Hopefully, no one inside here. Nope. Should have all the beds, right? Three purples and the yellow. Llama. I guess I'll keep you for now. Uh, we don't need this. That's where those guys are going to come down. Do I have a bucket on me? I might have a bucket in my ender chest. Let me go and see, hopefully. I don't know why I have two ender chests on me. It's not really going to help at all. Um, hmm. Maybe in this one? Nope, not in that one. If I even have a bucket, I might not even have a bucket on me to pick up the water. Don't think it's in this treasure ender chest right here. Nope, obviously not. Treasure maps. And I think a lot of them are all kind of just broken. Because I've kind of gone through the treasure maps again. And they all kind of point to the one area. I kind of wanted to resupply all the areas that I've already picked up. But I think it's because I also collected all the chests from the treasure location. So they all kind of reset themselves. Probably not in there. All my slimes, the nether items, all from the uh, water monuments, shulker shells. Uh, would I even have a bucket on me? Where would I have put the bucket? Don't think there's a chest. Oh, hold on. Let me check this box. There we go. Here's a water bucket. Cool. Ah, nice. All right. Here we go. So we're going to pick up that, the water there for now, so it's out of the way. Oh, I have like instant mine on here. I don't have to do anything really. Okay, uh, my inventory is full, but who cares right now? We're just going to pick this up, not really worry about where the water's going. Let's get rid of all the glass. We'll fix all the water eventually and make it. No, no, no. I actually don't want them to go down that way because I don't want to. I don't want to go all the way down there. Uh, let's just get a light here for now. I think that's fine. My little water vader, escalator type of thing. All right, so there we go. Let's clear it up and we'll also get rid of this. And we need trap doors if I can aim on it. Wow, my tools are powerful, though. If it was some netherite, it will be even better. All right, did I get all of them? Four? Yep, okay. So this is that. I'm going to make it so the babies will come down here, fall down here, and get shot out where that llama just went down to. I actually didn't know that they can go through two blocks, but I'm probably an idiot, and that's always a thing. So I'm going to try to square this thing up right here, or um, start from scratch, which I think that might be the best option here. Only because to have the babies kind of find their way over to this drop point right here, they kind of need to be in like a smaller area set up. And I've also done some tests in, in my uh, in creative mode, in my redstone world, kind of messed around with iron farms. And actually, they almost seem fixed because they were never working until like I kind of just paused the game real quick or had the game open, went to go do some things, and then looked back and like I'm already getting like over a stack of iron. So that's pretty cool. So I have the iron situation sorted up. Now I just need to get villagers to actually be able to set up an iron farm at some point in the while, but well, actually hopefully in the near future. <clears throat> but let's see, what's a good design though for this? I think I'm going to reset this up, make it more square, and then... I'll come back to you and hopefully we can get some villagers into here. But that'll be kind of a challenge. But hopefully not. But I'll be back when I've kind of re reworked this whole 
farm layer right here. Okay guys, so we're back. So this is the setup that we have so far right here. So it's a little different now. It's not raised up. So now we kind of have it down leveled to where the, our original pit was. So we've cleared it all out. So now this is the setup so far. I already replanted most of the crops. So now we have just three by three going all the way around as a square. And then we have the water source block with uh, this little, f what even is this thing? Uh, composter right there. <laughs> Some lighting and then a roof all over it. And this opening is for when we bring uh, the two villagers in. And then here we have a trap door so the adult villagers don't actually end up falling through this little hole. Oops. And then we actually have a trap door on the other side um, right here. So that this looks like a full block for the baby villager. So he'll be able to just walk across right there fall down into the pit and then we'll have a water stream going all the way out that way and I think yeah right there the diorite blocks right there are kind of marking out how far they are out to kind of a collection area so now what we have to do is set up a water stream just use this my sword I don't want to actually do that all right so we have one block bucket I'm actually probably gonna need more uh, let's see. Hopefully we can get this right here. So let us, I think, I think it would work just with one. This will go all the way, and then we'll have to add water going off that way. So now I'll need some blocks, though, to get up. And I need some more water. So let's grab my bucket. And we also had a uh, one of those dudes right there pop up. A wandering trader, but actually I did trade with him. I got some <laughs> red sand because I cannot find a mesa biome at all. So we got red sand. Still need to find some terracotta at some point, but can't. So we're going to add some water flowing all the way. Hopefully this should do it. All right. Is that good? So I'll go and it actually stopped. So what am I missing here? Maybe we don't need this water source right there. So this will go. Will they get stuck here? No, so he'll flow, and then if we do something like there, that'll also flow there. So actually, hold on. We don't need to do that. We just need a water right there. And now, everything should be flowing down into this corridor. Let me just make sure. So everything should be flowing in the corners too? Yep. Okay, cool. So yeah, everything is flowing the way it should be flowing. So baby villagers will fall down here. And now I actually have to uh, fix this up and add some more water coming this way. So let us see because I don't have anything that I can use for that. Now we need to go back up. I need some more signs. And do kind of the same thing right there. So we're going to build up right here though. One and one and two. Okay, there we go. Got that, so we're gonna need some signs, and if I have signs, hopefully I do. I don't, do I not have signs? Really? No signs, and I don't have wood on me? Hmm, okay. Well, I need more rails, and I need two villagers anyways, so. But I think overall, this is ready to go. This should be ready. Now the tricky part is kind of bringing up villagers, but other than that, I believe we are good to go. So now, oh, come on. Oh, okay, so I changed it, that's why. All right, I see. Don't know if I can actually kind of go. There we go, that worked. Probably should add some more power rails to make this quicker, but it's working. It's definitely working. I have my skeleton farm down that way. Do you remember that? I have one skeleton farm. Over there. So we're going to need... We'll try to grab one villager each. So I'll just hop out right here. Grab a minecart. Like so. Now the tricky part is actually kind of bringing villagers down here because I think I'm going to need a boat. A boat will work here. Our boat should work all the way here on on the grass right here. Um, 
And then we'll have to have rails coming here for the villager. So this will be right here, like that. All right, so now, now we gotta go and grab ourselves a villager. And actually, I think I need a minecart too. I'm not too sure, but we will grab one. All right. So there's the bee farm. I wonder how that's doing actually. Oh, some rabbit. Oh, chicken, I mean. Supply is going up. I think that's where I had the shears. Don't think that was automated at all, but. Okay, so let's see. Hopefully this will be easy. I don't know. And then uh, pod rail should be, or any rails, that is. All right, we'll just grab a little bit of that. We'll grab maybe another mine cart just in case. And do I have a boat on me? Anywhere, a boat. I don't think I do. Uh, I don't think I do. Oh, terracotta. Where did I get terracotta from? I don't even remember where I got that stuff from. Okay, uh, let's see. Not too sure how this is going to work out, but maybe... No, I need a bow. Anyways, okay, I need to eat. Storage is full. Uh, okay, so now those fish are cooked. Wow. Alright, that was great. I need the minecart. Okay, actually, I'm just going to build a boat real quick. Get the boat, and then hopefully we're good. So we need some wood for this. All right, let's see what do we have here. All right, planks. We'll just grab all the planks and feather. Just drop you. Where's my spruce? Dark. Oh, there's a boat. Right oh, there's a boat too. Okay. So we have boats, so we don't actually need to do anything here. I'll just grab this boat. Oh, I do have a boat too. Look at that. I have a birch boat. <laughs> well, at least we're up here. We need to be up here anyways, so we'll stick that back in there. Come back through and uh, grab the boat just in case. We'll try to grab a villager at a time. Don't know how this is going to work out, but I don't want to release all of them. And then be in trouble. So all these guys are coming from far away. And might as well grab some dirt. To try to block villagers in. Do I have anything in here though? What's inside here? Can I get up here? Okay. What is in here? Oh, perfect. Look at that. So we have a villager here right now. So if I can get him into the boat... Get him into the boat. And he's already a farmer, which is perfect. We'll stick the minecart there. And then I'll hop in. And then we need we're gonna have a long journey going all the way down this way. But I don't wanna <laughs> I mean I could make it quicker just by adding rails, but then I'd have to remove them all and it'll take time to actually set up too. So I think this'll be more efficient right now. Just kind of trugging all the way across, <laughs> across town with a villager. And I only need two right now, so. And eventually, all the baby villagers, once they kind of grow up, I'll be able to transport them using water mechanics and flows, and tunnel systems to kind of move them to wherever I need to, just to make that quicker. Come here. I'm gonna move him closer. I keep going in third person mode. Closer. Hopefully he doesn't book it and run. Alright. Oh no 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 no. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where is he going? Oh. Phantoms, that's why. Alright, hold on. Real quick, I'm gonna actually sleep. Cause it's nighttime and I think he knows it. 
Hopefully nothing's there. You gotta get a bed. Is there a bed still here? Yeah, 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 okay. Bed is too why? Why can't I sleep here? Really? Fine. Ah, uh, I can't sleep <laughs> anywhere. Can I sleep here? Sleep. Good. There we go. Now we got it. Now we're good. Alright, hopefully the guy is still alive. Phantoms burning. I forgot we had phantoms. It's been a while. Alright, so he's still safe. All those guys are going to burn. Alright, now we got to bring him all the way back here. And hopefully he won't run this time. But you never know. We're going to set him right here, right next to it. Keep going in third person mode. And then we're going to hit with the axe. Why are you running? Alright. Hold on. Uh, hmm. What can I do? I guess we could do this. We'll push the minecart there. I'll get him behind the minecart. <laughs> Hopefully he'll run right into it. Yeah, I don't know why he's trying to run that way though. Unless there's a zombie or something, I don't know. Alright, so he's going to be right here. Right there. There's nowhere to run except for this minecart right here. So now, if I just do this. Good. There you go. So he did try to run. Now we have to set this up again. Get him onto the tracks. And there we go. So now he's going to go up top right here. And I wonder, I might be able to actually push him going all the way down. Because that might be more easier. Because then we're actually have to, I'm going to have to get back off and do the same thing. But if we can make this work, then this will be great. Right there. And then now, I need to set this up. Like so. Get on the tracks, so he's gonna go there. And then I'm going to block him in because I don't know what he's going to do here once I break him out of here. And I'll break the oops. Sorry buddy. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, so he's in there right now. So he's good. I hit him. Hopefully that won't affect him or hurt him. But there we go, there's that. We have one guy in there. And he will hopefully start harvesting. And hopefully he'll actually claim that. I don't think he needs to claim the composter at all. But I could be wrong. Who do we have in here, actually? Alright, who are you? What level are you? So he does not have a workstation, which might actually work for us. Alright, so now if I do this, I think I'll just break out here. Do I have some more room? Alright, hold on. You gotta figure this out. Alright, I don't need, what do I not need? I don't need this. I don't need this. And that'll be that for now. And then we can break out on this side right here. Like this. We'll grab ourselves a boat. We'll make him angry. He's going to be mad, upset that I broke his bed. But we need him like that. All right, there we go. Now we gotta bring him over. Actually, I'm gonna sleep because it is nighttime. Don't wanna end up him dying. Because he's not a nitwit, so he should end up having a job. And he did link up to his bed, but. Let's see. Might need another composter down there, down, down below. 
don't know if they have to be two farmers. I mean, uh, it would make sense that we need two farmers. All right, like that. I'll need to break the dirt without hitting the villager. Like that. And then now uh, we break the minecart. Push this villager in here like so. Grab ourselves some cobblestone. Like that, and we should be good to go. And we'll grab some glass, cover this back up. There we go. Should be good to go. That should be all we need. Oh, let me put, patch this back up. Okay, there we go. Cool. So we have the farm, farmer, and then we have... Uh, not a farmer. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah, this is what I need to do, too. What is actually I need to do get this already so oh signs I need some signs so I didn't need wood I need need signs okay so that's what we need to do and I think I'm going to get an, uh, another composter just in case and then we just need a sign and then that should be all that we need three signs I think we only need three, or we only need two, but I'll bring it just in case. Anyways, then we're gonna have to come back up. All right, so now he is a farmer. So he should be working. And hopefully they'll be able to trade. What is... All right, does this work now? They shouldn't be able to fit through here. Yeah, what's going on right now? Why? Is it because they can't sleep, really? Hmm. Yeah, okay, so he's linked up, he's linked up. Okay, so they're both linked up to a bed. There's one bed. So they should be ready, and they should be able to farm. Don't know why they aren't farming. But they should be good anyways, okay. Um, I'll need some water. And uh, should be good. Should be good. Let's just finish up this tunnel. Hopefully they will start collecting crops. And breeding. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. I think we need to go one more block. Yes, right? Is that correct? Is it one more block? Uh, no. Yeah, because if one's floating here, they should still be going. So actually, I don't think we need to do anything with this tunnel. I don't know. Let me just double check, though. All right, so he's there. Yeah. So we, yeah. All right, so we're going to go back once, and then we should be fine. And I'll set... So if we do this now, so we need this, like this, we will knock this out, knock this out, knock this out, and I wonder maybe we don't even need to, or, uh, hmm, I guess we could just do this, and it'll still work this way, like that. I think, right? If I am correct, grab the torch. Alright, and then we hop up here. Grab some more water. One. Why? There we go. How is that? 
Really? That sh that was a source block. For sure, that was a source block. All right, so we break this. Put one there. And then we need a dirt here. Or hold on. No. These are all flowing. So we get rid of that. And we need more water now than I did that. Get rid of this. So this is flowing here. This is flowing there. And... Yeah, why not? We'll just do it here. Okay, there we go. So we're here. Let me set this up there. Don't name that. Let me do this. Don't name that. And then break this torch. And grab the water. Set the water right here. Should get pushed again. And there we go. All set. Tunnels all ready to go. Hopefully, right? Yeah, cool. Sweet, so that's working. All right, so now I just need to get up. And add some torches to light up the area. All right, so we gotta have, I'll do a torch here. I'll do a torch there. I guess we'll do one there. And then I want one right here. And then cool, nice. So that's working up and running. Now we just gotta wait for the babies, hopefully everything and all the water should be flowing over into the tunnel. Yep, so that's flowing there. This is flowing there, yep, okay cool. So these are all flowing the way they should be going. We just remove this dirt. And presto, good to go, all right. And now, we just gotta wait. The baby should, ooh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> baby should now be able to come here. And uh, let's see, we don't actually need this open, so we can block this all off. Mm -hmm. Maybe we do want some torches though. Uh, we will leave it for now. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go and manually feed them because I don't know why they're not doing much at all. Or let me actually try to hop in and see. Maybe if I break some stuff, they'll actually <laughs> do something. Do something about it. Let me go down here. Do this. Never mind, I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna do that, that, and I'll walk in somehow. Yeah, I just don't know why they're trying to go to the beds. Why are they not breeding? They should be fine. I almost fell in again. All right, let's see what happens if I do this. I shut that, shut that. They should still see their beds. Right? You should still see the beds. Even if I close that. Actually, I think they do need to be able to see. Yeah, I'm not sure. Doesn't matter whether this trap door is open or closed. Cause I do need a trapdoor anyways, because if I don't, then they will both fall into the water. No, they should still see it, so they should still be fine. But I don't know why they are not harvesting any, anything at all. Really. So let me see here, what if I do something like this? There you guys go. There you go. Plant it. Plant it. 
Plant. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I just needed to show you guys how to do it. <laughs> that's that's what it was. They just didn't know how to work. They're like cavemen. See now <laughs> they're working. <laughs> that's what they should be doing. Yes, good. And now hopefully baby should see bed and baby should desire to go on top of bed. <laughs> yes. This is working so good. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Look at that. Just like that. That's how it should be going. So there we go. One baby is down and they've collected all the crops. So now once the, they regrow, hopefully, once they regrow, they will remember how to um, harvest them again. I don't like that torch just there floating. Can I grab it? No. It's fine. I mean, they should have plenty of light anyways, but it's just kind of off by that one torch. And if I am correct, he should end up all the way down here. Or here, hold on. I'm going to go down just in case. I know because he is shorter, he might still be stuck on the uh, open spaces like right here. Maybe, but I'm not too sure. Because if he's not fighting the stream, then he'll be going all the way down. And it should be at least 60 blocks away. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. But I didn't actually count. All the way. <laughs> I it should be far enough, though. It should be far enough. Like I said, I don't know how quick they can actually keep spawning. So, so there's that. He's in there. He should be fine. And what I could do to actually even speed it up is add some beds down where the baby is right now. But it should be 60 blocks, at least, from from the beds. So like if I count like here, one and then kind of in a straight line, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, fifty. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Somewhere, is it 60? Is it 60? It should be far enough, though. I would think. I would think. If not, I can continue the tunnel. But it should be far enough. Like I said, they're not going to keep breeding. I think it's like five minutes anyways, but... Finally, we got our first baby, though. So that is cool. Now, that's working up and running. So I am happy about that. Super cool. Sweet! Well, this has been McBucksauce here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Back. Back a while, from a while. Missing in action. And now we should be back. Built. Finally finished up this uh, villager breeder farm. We'll breed up some more. There's a creeper down there. We'll breed up some more villagers. And slowly make a iron farm. Somewhere. I don't. 
It's not a lot of room down here. I could raise the ceiling up. But I'm not sure if I want to actually do that. Why is there a zombie here? How do you know that he is down there? There is no way that you should know. Unless they're just getting smarter. Bo, stop. There you go. Guy has a sword. This bow is crazy. I wish I knew how much damage it did. Yeah, why are you guys spawning? I mean, I guess there's some dark patches, but it should be light enough. Uh, maybe up from here. Trophy. Sail the seven seas. What? Uh, okay. That's, uh... <laughs> that's a late one. I haven't even been in the water at all with the boat. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll be, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I am happy. I'm satisfied. <laughs> I just wanted to see it working. And we saw that villager, baby villager, just wandering. He's out back into the uh, holding chamber right down there. Everything's working. It's fantastic. So... With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't really know what's going to go on next time, but I'm probably going to keep an eye on these guys for a little while. Make sure it is working. Hopefully, hopefully the uh, distance is far enough away so that they can keep on breeding. And then, might want to... Not sure. <laughs> there's, there's a lot because I could do an iron farm, but I don't have enough villagers for the iron farm. I could do, start working on a villager trading facility somewhere. Don't really want to do it down here. Have it be kind of a far trek to do that. Should do that somewhere up in the town. Probably like a, t a uh, hotel. And each floor have the uh, different. Uh, the uh, different uh, uh, jobs, or uh, yeah, the jobs for the villagers. Um, yeah, do it like that. And then work on an iron farm. I don't really know. Or we'll just collect a whole bunch and then do something with them. But then um, it's going to be kind of difficult to separate each of them. So I wonder if we kind of just separate the villagers now down here into chambers. And I should do that too. So uh, we'll figure something out. We do only have one baby villager right now at least. But yeah, that being said, this has been McBucksauce. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Or actually, we can get some netherite. Hopefully we can... Ooh, that's not a bad idea. Maybe we'll get some netherite. We'll have to find some netherite in the nether. Because it's time. I'm still wearing this th diamond and even iron. Should upgrade. Should upgrade. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>